So Capcom just went ahead and announced an upcoming digital event for Sunbreak, which will be, and I quote, approximately 20 minutes of programming, including exciting reveals for new monsters, gameplay info, and more. So that's pretty exciting stuff. Whether you're big into Rise or not, more Monster Hunter news is always a good thing. But what exactly will they include in it, and what do we have to look forward to? Who knows really, but I have some spicy predictions that I want to go ahead and throw out there and we will see if any of them stick. I don't know if there's any leaks doing the rounds, but I haven't seen them, so here are 7 predictions for the Monster Hunter Digital Event. Number 1. The Return of an Unexpected Monster Rise already set a precedent for bringing back weird choices of monsters whilst omitting some fan favourites, and I reckon Sunbreak will probably continue this trend. We saw Kezu, Puke Puke and Jurotodus in the base game, which are monsters I wouldn't exactly call fan favourites, so I'm going to go ahead and say we will be seeing an old face once again. To be more precise, I think they will bring back the Nibble Snarf and the Gobel to feature in the Sandy Plains and the Flooded Forest. Number 2, a brand new monster based on the concept of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Now, this one is a stretch, I know, but the two brand new monsters we've seen so far, Malzino and Lunagaron, both seem to be based on Dracula and werewolves, respectively, so I got to thinking of other gothic-style monsters. Sure, the obvious choice is Frankenstein's monster, but I thought I'd get a little bit more creative. I think that we will get to see a new monster that undergoes a transformation between a slender, lithe form and a huge hulking form throughout the course of the hunt as it goes in and out of rage mode. Yet Yes, I realise it's a little reminiscent of the Devil Joe, but similarity in design hasn't stopped them before. If I had to guess, I'd say it would be a flying wyvern that sort of changes into a pseudo wyvern, using its wings to attack when it changes form. Number 3, a new redone version of a third generation map. This one is probably a pretty safe bet already because, well, Base Rise has two revisited maps in the form of the Flooded Forest and the Sandy Plains, both of which were introduced in Monster Hunter Try. Lunagaran's teaser trailer also shows it in what could definitely be the third gen Tundra, because it certainly doesn't look like the Frost Islands, but I personally would love to see the Deserted Island make a return with the winding cave system and the Wyvern's Nest towering high above the ocean in a more open setting. Number 4, brand new Silk Bind attacks and Switch Skills. I think this might have already been confirmed to be on its way, but I reckon this trailer is going to really give us a deep dive into what we can expect when Sunbreak finally launches. This one's a bit of a gimme, sure, but this is my prediction list, so I do what I want. During the event, we will get to see one new Silkbind attack for each weapon, as well as a few switch skills here and there. Number 5. More details on Malzino, including a brand new blood-based mechanic. I think Capcom will go ahead and just spill the beans on Malzino and lift the mystery before the game launches. Not full on spoils, but they will tell us that Malzino is a never before seen Elder Dragon that threatens to destroy the new kingdom we are setting off to explore, and it's up to us along with the Royal Guard to take it down. It will be revealed at the same time that Malzino can inflict the player with a new mysterious ailment known as the Blood Plague. This ailment will cause you to take damage and reduce your affinity based on how much health you are missing. Number 6, a teaser of the evolution of Rampages. With Rampages firmly established as a core part of Rise, I think they will only evolve in the future. As we get to enter into Master Rank and the story progresses past the Ibushi and Nawa stuff from the base game, we will be introduced to Royal Rampages. These will take place in a more medieval style map in the New Kingdom, and they will seek to fine tune the relatively disjointed Rampages that we've been taking part in up until this point. They will keep the same general gameplay style, but will improve the monster AI and player interactivity, seeking to make them less of just this jumbled mess. And finally, number 7, one last teaser for a fan requested returning monster. Capcom did this in the lead up to Iceborne as the trailer came to a close a brief snippet of something followed by a monster's roar as the screen fades to black. The final clip will show lava oozing from the ceiling of the lava caverns and pause for just a moment. Slight tremors will begin and small parts of the ceiling will begin to fall away before it erupts in magma. The screen will cut to black and we will hear the distinctive roar of none other than the Agnactor. <laughs> Ready to return in full force after it was done so dirty in the base game when the Uroctors were included without their parents. And so there you have it, my predictions for what we can expect in the upcoming Monster Hunter Digital event for Sunbreak. These are not leaks, these are not spoilers, these are just guesses. And I wonder if we will actually get any of them right. I'll most probably be reacting live on Twitter, so follow me over at Pete Ginge. But that being said, I'm yet to check what time it's on for me here in Australia, but it's usually at like 2am or something, so I wonder if I'll be awake. Anyway, this is a quick little fun video. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one, and I'll catch you on the next one, folks. See you later.